Hey everyone, it is your boy Blazy here, bringing you a brand new video to get your weekend started. So I hope everyone's had a fantastic week so far. I do not want to talk about the football result last night. It was absolutely dreadful. But another weekend of football beckons. Uh, and hopefully we're going to get a better result than losing 3-0 to Everton. So I'm still downstairs, uh, still trying to work out where the best place to film my introductions are in the new house, but we're slowly working out uh, where that's going to be. And my YouTube room is taking shape as well. Uh, if I can put a few overlays on here, I will. But yeah, uh, we are going to have a nice little YouTube studio ready very shortly. So today's video, people, we have got our hands on a brand new product that recently dropped at Sports Trading Cards UK. We run a bit of a Timor run at the moment. If you watched my video the other day, you'll know that I opened the Panini Chronicles Timor box. We took a massive L and we're back today with another Timor product. That's right, people. In today's video, we are going to be Panini Revolution Timor that has a one in two chance of an autograph card inside. So we took an L in the last Timor box. We're back with the new Timor product, this time Revolution. Revolution was actually the First proper premium hobby product to come out in 2023. So isn't it amp? We're ending the year with the same product we started the year with, which is really, really cool. So uh, the difference between Revolution Hobby and Revolution Timor is that the Timor box contains exclusive Timor parallels, including the rare red star parallel. And what is great about it is it has the same autograph odds as the original hobby box that came out at the beginning of the year. So I'm hoping today we either get a low number parallel or an autograph hit uh, and the biggest hits in the box, Haaland and David Beckham. So one of those two would be amazing uh, and I'm just hyped to get this box open. So people, before today's video, if you enjoy the video today, then make sure you smash that like button and do subscribe and hit the bell never to miss a single video from your boy Blazy. Even though this is going to be one of the last hobby boxes of the year, we should have plenty more videos to come and there is a lot more to look forward to. But for now, sit back, enjoy today's video and let's rip Revolution Timor. So here we have it, people. We have the Panini Revolution Soccer 22-23 Timor Asia exclusive box to open for today's video. And every one in two boxes contains an autograph hit. So I'm really, really excited today. Uh, I'm hoping we're going to get an autograph. This collection was famous because it was the first collection released in 2023 Panini Revolution. The hobby boxes went crazy. The reason for that, it had Erling Haaland's first Man City autograph uh, on a premium set. So these flew off the shelves back in January, the hobby version, uh, and now Team All Asia has landed. Uh, and what a way to see out the year. We're seeing out the year with the same hobby box that started off 2023. So, you know I've been talking hobby, you know I've been talking Timor. So hobby is traditionally the big product available for the collection. Timor Asia is the version available exclusively through Panini Asia. And the difference is it has exclusive Asia parallels. So in this, there's Red Stars Vortex and two other Red Star parallels that make up uh, the different, slightly different collection at that. So, Red Stars are the exclusive Team All Asia parallel found inside, and hopefully we're going to find an autograph along those 60 cards. Look at that, people. 60 cards in today's video. Uh, we've got exclusive inserts, Derby Days, Vortex, Ultra Rare, Primetime Performers. Uh, there is a die cut card in here, which is really cool. Uh, and yeah, there's just look. Look at that, people. Ultra Rare Red Stars inside this box. And it looks like uh, numbered 15 down to 5, which is pretty cool. Legendary autograph, Sunburst, Lava Ice, 50 down to number 1. Hopefully, the autograph is numbered. My last autograph from this collection was a Wainbridge autograph. I'm just going to see if I've got it to hand. And I do. It's right here. This was my autograph hit from Revolution back in January. Uh, a very nice, legendary Wainbridge card, but we would love it to be an Erling Haaland today. So, Revolution is a funny one. Uh, it has so many different types of insert card that aren't numbered. Uh, and there's the odd numbered insert in here as well. So it's a very funny collection. Uh, it's not traditional like your um, Chrome, like your Prisms. You've got like Vortex, Sunburst, all these crazy names for all these different cards. You've got Vortex. Uh, some of them are numbered. Some of them are not numbered. You have to flip the card around to the back to see what type it is. So bit of a funny collection. Uh, and we're hoping we're going to get an autograph card inside this box. So before we get this one ripped, people, I am going to give you 
the lowdown on today's product, the Panini Revolution Timor box is available through Sports Trading Cards UK for £95. Uh, STC UK is my number one place to get all my soccer products. Thoroughly recommend them. And for that £95, you will get 60 cards per box, including one guaranteed number parallel and a one in two chance of an autograph hit. So I give this the humble four stars out of five. Uh, it's great that you get an autograph every other box, £95. I think it's very reasonable for a Panini product. But the autograph checklist is huge. Um, so you've got a really low chance if you do get an autograph of it being a big player. Harland and Beckham, probably the two biggest autographs you are going to find in this collection. And with only one number card in these boxes as well, they're not hits galore. You're hoping for a big number or you're hoping for a big autograph. Um, and that is the only way you're going to make your money back on these. And like I said, a very funny collection with everything from Kaleidoscopic to Sunburst to Vortex. There's honestly, as you can see here, so many different types of cards. So I think we waste no more time, people. Let's get this one ripped. You'll see that I'm still opening it uh, inside my new YouTube studio that I'm setting up in my new house. Uh, I've got some really cool shelving units uh, that came last week. I'm going to give you guys a little YouTube room tour, uh, probably at some point next week when I've had a chance to... Uh, get everything finished off. But it's starting to look pretty homely in here, guys. It's starting to look pretty homely. And yeah, right, revolution, people. Let's go. Right, 60 cards coming up. 60 cards coming up. Who are we going to get from our revolution box? Look at this. So many packs. Uh, and do you know what? I really dig the colour scheme on these as well. Uh, they look really cool, don't they? I've uh, got Fernandez, Zaha Haaland, Neves, Buemo, and uh, Jordan Pickford on the front of these. So... Here we go. First pack of Timor. Let's go. We want that autograph hit. We want the autograph hit. So we start off our pack with a Stefan Bajatic, uh, rookie for Liverpool. You'll see that he's got this funky design going on behind him. Looks like little disco balls. This one is Groove. So like I said, very weird collection. Lots of different types of cards. We have a Groove Stefan Bajatic right there. And you can see it's a groove because you've got those funky little disco ball things going on there. So a standard groove Bajatic rookie to get us started. We then got ourselves a base Pablo Fornells. Uh, this is what the base cards look like in Revolution. You'll see there's no name on the card behind it. So it's just a base Pablo Fornells uh, right there. It is followed with Pats and Daka for Leicester City. Bukayo Saka for Arsenal. What a season he's having. Uh, really, really found his form. And we've got Kai Havertz, who's obviously uh, now of Arsenal as well. So you will know uh, that obviously this is this predates uh, the summer transfer window. So a lot of the players are now going to be out of date a little bit, people. So it is an old product coming right at the end of the year. Um, so that is why you've got older cards in here. A lot of you comment on the videos and go, Blazy, Blazy, this isn't a new collection. It's got old players. Uh, it's because of the way the printing cycles work with these companies. Um, it, yeah, it's just it's just how it works. But nothing weird. It's just the way they've been released. So next one coming up right here. I'm going to move the one at the back out of the way. I'm uh, going to slide it around there because it looks like you've got your insert at the back of front of each pack. We then got a Stefan Bajatic rookie right there. So the base rookie. We have Dejan Kudusevsky. Great goal uh, at the weekend against Man City to tie the game. We've got Tosin Adarabaya, uh, the big guy from the hobby. We now have ourselves a Moises Casiedo, obviously now of Chelsea. And the final one is an Andy Robertson insert. Again, you'll see it's a little bit different. This is Disco. And I tell you what, it does look a little bit like a Disco. I'm loving that design, people. The light hits that really nicely. That is a Disco Andy Robertson. It almost looks like a TV pixel, uh, which is pretty cool. But two Liverpool inserts so far, Robertson and Bajatic. And we've got a host of base cards there as well. Right. Another pack, people. Another pack. Who have we got hiding away inside this one? Again, try not to ruin it uh, because at the back, obviously, you've got the uh, the insert player. So we can see we've got a Damari Gray in here. Um, do, 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 do. You've already seen who it is. So I think we'll just move into the back anyway. We've got ourselves a Connor Cody for Everton. We have Jordan Pickford, double Everton players right there. We've got Cole Palmer now at Chelsea at time of filming. He has just scored against Manchester United. A great goal. We've got ourselves a Damari Gray. And our insert is a Vortex. Matty Cash. Look at that. Uh, Cash again. Having a great season for Aston Villa. 
Uh, Aston Villa are flying, aren't they? I really hope Newcastle catch them. Newcastle and Villa have a funny rivalry. It's all born off of Twitter. Uh, they're an absolute nightmare um, when, we, when we lose. They always take in the mick. So, yeah, do hope we overtake them. So, we'll move our insert card to the back. We've got ourselves Ivan Perisic, base. We have a Yuri Tielemann, base. A Gabriel, base. Lots of base people inside these boxes. We've got an N'Golo Kante. And we finish off with a rookie Ben Pearson of Bournemouth on the disco insert right there. So, nothing too big so far, people. We're coming up to halfway through this box. We're yet to find anything too big. I'm hoping there is a cheeky little autograph hidden away as we work our way through the second half of these packs. Right, next one open here, people. Again, oh, try not to. Uh, it's almost impossible not to spoil it on these without using a filler at the back. We've got a Flynn Downs, a rookie for West Ham United. We have Dean Henderson for Forest. A Scott McTominay, Man United. A base, Neil Morpé. And we finish with a disco, Lewis O'Brien for Nottingham Forest. Right. Still to find our number parallel. Still to find an autograph. Come on, people. Get manifested. A big hit. A big hit is going to come, isn't it? The big hits always come when you least expect it. So here we go. Another one. Let's see, we've got Jack Stacy at the back of this one. I'm going to look away off camera and I'm going to move our insert to the back. So we're not looking. Right. We have ourselves a Nathan Collins of Wolves. Oh, Ruben Diaz, solid defender. If only he was a bit pacier in an EAFC. We've got Rodrigo Moreno, base. We have a Jack Stacy rookie base for Bournemouth. And the final card in this box is a Cody Drama rookie. Look at that, people. Uh, and that is an impact insert. We have a rookie Cody Drama on the rookie, I already forgotten, impact insert right there. So, still no number card, still no autograph. Here we go. The next pack, the next pack. Let's go. Let's go. Right. What have we got inside this one? We have, again, let's do it off camera. Let's do it off camera. Let's not spoil anything. Here we go. Right. We have got ourselves Nia Kate. Can't even talk today. Nia Kate for Nottingham Forest. We have Kevin Babu uh, for Fulham, once of Newcastle United. We have Mark Gahey, uh, Gway for Crystal Palace. Christopher Ayer for Brentford. And the final card in this one, Looks like it is a Vortex, possibly again. It looks like Bernardo Silva. It is Showstoppers insert Bernardo Silva. That is a nice looking card, people. That is a nice looking card. Showstoppers Bernardo Silva. That's nice. Uh, some of the designs in this are really, really cool. I really struggled with Revolution when it first came out earlier in the year, guys. I just got too overwhelmed with all the different things. They are all inserts. I feel like with things like Prism and Chrome though, it's so easy to see what the insert is. On these, I just didn't look like, it just looked like we had loads of different base cards and I wasn't particularly keen, but we are where we are and we have a rookie to curate to start, which then followed up with Ryan Sessegnon, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Buendia for Aston Villa, and the final card, another disco. It's a rookie disco, could be Nathan Aki. It is Rico Lewis, rookie right there. Uh, he's having a great little run in the Man City team. A nice disco uh, Rico Lewis for Man City. Again, with these cards, they are, when they're in card stock as well, you've got to be so careful opening them. Because uh, some of these cards, even just coming out of these packs, do look a little bit like rough around the edges. So if we get a big hit, we need it to be pristine, people. We need it to be pristine. Right, another pack. Here we go. Again, doing the little trick off the camera. Right, flipping it back round. We have got ourselves Taiwo Awonyi for Forest. A Anthony. Oh, what a season. <laughs> what a time he's had at Man United. First Newcastle card, Sven Botman. Uh, Batman at the back for Newcastle. We've got Khalidu Kudabadi. Obviously moved on from Chelsea now. And the final one in this one is an Eduard Mendy. And that one is a kaleidoscopic numbered to just 15. Look at that. Kaleidoscopic. Eduard Mendy. Number to 15. It is a shame. It is not a big player. But it is a numbered Eduard Mendy nonetheless. 
Eduard Mendy, numbered to just 15, is our numbered hit from this box. And we have three packs left to try and find an autograph card. Right, here we go. So, next pack, next pack. We can already see we have Eddie and Ketty are inside this pack. Moving some things around right there. Flipping it round. Oh! Anthony Gordon, die cut card. That is nice, people. Look at that. Anthony Gordon on the die cut. Prime time performers. One of the most promising midfielders in the league. He really is. Wow. Anthony Gordon on the prime time performers. A little bit scratch. It's a little bit scratched, which is really annoying, but that is nice. Anthony Gordon, revolution. Prime time performers. That is exceptionally, exceptionally nice people. We're just going to sleeve him real quick. There we go. Anthony Gordon safely inside that sleeve right there. That is really, really nice. Wow. Anthony Gordon die cut. Uh, they are case hits, the die cuts. So we actually got a case hit from this box. Look at that. Anthony Gordon. Oh, die cut card. Very nice. I've put it all in a sleeve straight away. Uh, and the reason I have done that um, is that die cuts are really, really hard to keep pristine because of those funny edges. So, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Anthony Gordon. Get in, people. Uh, we're very, very happy with that little result. Oh, it looks so good. That's a nice card. That's a very nice card. As a Newcastle fan as well, that is a very nice card. So... We then got ourselves, look at it, it's so good. We got Brennan Aronson. We've got ourselves Leandro Trossard, obviously now of Arsenal. Eddie and Ketia. And we finished with a Gabriel Jesus. And that is a impact insert. Wow. Impact's nice. It always looks a little bit kaboomy uh, when you look at it. If you've seen the kaboom cards that Panini make, honestly, different level. Different level. This box is only going to be topped off if we get an autograph inside these final two packs. It's then been a massively OP box. So final two packs coming up. We've got Spence Rookie. We have ourselves a Aaron Cresswell or Aaron Cresswell Rookie, Edison, Leon Bailey, and then a Vortex Connor Gallagher. Look at that. Connor Gallagher, Vortex insert hit. Right, final pack magic people. Let's go. What are we going to find inside the final Panini Revolution Team All Pack? Right, getting this one ripped. So, again, we can see we got ourselves a Raheem Sterling. I'm now just going to move the final card to the back. Can we find an autograph inside this final pack? So, we have Stuart Armstrong for Southampton. We have Alison Becker for Liverpool. We have a Mason Holgate for Everton. Raheem Sterling, as we saw from the back of the pack. And we finally have Erling Haaland. Could you imagine if that Erling Haaland was autographed? Could you imagine if that Haaland was autographed? That would be insane. It looks like it might just be an impact Erling Haaland. Um, but if that had been autographed, that would be insane. Ah, God, I really thought we might have got an autograph Haaland right at the end. We have impact Erling Haaland to finish. Still a very, very nice card at that. But yeah, if that had been autographed, what a way that would have been to finish off that box. So overall, I'm very, very happy with that return, people. We are going to take 30 seconds and then we are going to summarise today's video. So there we go, people. They are our two hits from the Panini Revolution Sucker Team All Box. We have got ourselves an Eduard Mendy numbered to just 15. And we were lucky enough to get a case hit Anthony Gordon right there uh, on the prime time performers. What a season he is having. And that is a very, very nice card. Anthony Gordon, prime time performers case hit. So no autograph. And Erling Haaland did troll us, didn't he? He trolled us right at the end today. But nonetheless, I'm really, really happy with that return, people. Mendy, not the biggest numbered hit, but that Gordon at the moment, he is on fire, is a very, very good hit from this box. So overall, very happy. 
I would say that we've taken a rare W in today's video. Uh, and we're going to take that W and run to the hills. So very, very happy. Great box. A four out of five for me. As you can see, you can hit big from these when you're lucky. Um, and yeah, you can get some very, very nice looking cards. So if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button. Do comment and let me know your thoughts on the hits. And finally, do subscribe. Never miss a single video from your boy Blazy. We've got more box openings coming next week. Uh, so do stay tuned for those. But for now, have a fantastic evening. And I'll see you on Saturday for the next video.